In this video, we're going to go over a G.I. Joe working train set, a new project I just started working on. We're going to go over the toy that Hasbro didn't make, some history of military trains, then we'll go through mocking up different ideas, and then take the train for a test run. Hasbro did make a G.I. Joe train back in the 80s, but it was an H.O. scale train and didn't work with the real American hero figures or the vehicles. Instead, it came with green army men and plastic tanks. Now it's a given, trains weren't a big part of the cartoon or the comic, but having a train to transport your Joes and some of the vehicles sounds like a pretty cool idea. Hasbro must have thought the same thing because they mocked up a train set for the three and three quarter inch figures. It had some great car designs that incorporated some weapons as well as stealth transformation type functions like concealing a rocket launcher in a tanker car. Now even though Hasbro never produced their train, G.I. Joe Customizer Oreo Builder created a fantastic 118th scale Joe train based on a Playmobil toy, and Steve 3D Toys planned to 3D print a faithful recreation of the Hasbro mock-up, but has put that on hold for now. Now I've always loved trains, I thought they were really cool, we'd always check them out at our local hobby store, but they're always about like a farm, or like moving cows, or like coal, or something like that, and just didn't seem that interesting or that exciting. But the idea of a military train, a train that's designed for combat and for, you know, fighting through the enemy or, you know, being attacked and defending or repelling the enemy, I think is cool. You know, transporting tanks and stuff like that might be neat as a secondary thing. But some of the historical, like, images of, you know, these tanks with, like, giant cannons on them or anti-aircraft guns or something like that, that's what really excited me, so... And that's when Trent, a fellow customizer, contacted me back in May and was like, hey man, check out this train. It's really a good price and it's a good size and that could be a really cool G.I. Joe train. He was right on about that. So I ordered one and then I ordered a second one and I wish I could say I got right to work, but I kind of sat on it for months all through the summer, didn't do that much to it. And then recently, um, you know, talking to him and Joe Mahler works and just got inspired to start mocking things up again. All right, so the first thing was to dig into the engine. It looked like a pretty good size. It's a little underscaled for 118th, but I think I can make it work. It kind of looks like the one that Hasbro was mocking up. I also ordered uh, the cannon from the Thunderclap because I think that's what they used on the G.I. Joe mock-up train as well. So I figured it'd be cool to incorporate that into one of the uh, the cars. And it looked like that could work, you know, size-wise. These cars look like they give a lot of... Uh, a lot of room for playing around with. Another car was like a flatbed, so I had to cut off these container holders that they had, but it looked like an armadillo would fit on this. This definitely, again, wasn't a scale. There's no way I'm gonna get like a Mobat on there or, um, you know, even maybe a Wolverine. I took the crane one apart because that actually had the ability to like spin the crane around and rotate. And then my son was playing around and I didn't even know these were here, but they're kind of like these uh, stabilizers that you can extend out to the side. And so that was just perfect for the cannon. So, you know, I put the uh, the base of the um, the crane back on, you know, removed the housing. And then I'm planning to somehow, you know, 3D print or mock up like some kind of like holder that will connect to that base. And then the cannon could actually rotate a full 360. And with those stabilizers, it kind of looks like, you know, even though it's giant, like maybe that could sort of work. The next thing was just kind of this, um, kind of like a storage car that looked like guys could go into it. I definitely wanted um, some of that historical look of those like armored cars, you know, on the train with the turrets. And I wanted guys to be able to ride in it and then have Joes like on the top, like, you know, shooting their, their guns and like firing and taking fire and, you know, kind of that like Wild West, like, you know, the, I don't know, Dreadnoughts like riding alongside trying to jump on the train and like rob whatever was on it. So this seemed like it would be a really, really fun, um, you know, part of the train and like definitely fun to play with. So with all those pieces mocked up, um, you know, if you notice I was doing it with cardboard, normally I like 3D print stuff, but recently I've been inspired by uh, Toy Agante. He's doing like this amazing um, giant scale his tank and also uh, Christopher George, you know, I did the, the video on his like mega hiss and those guys like working in styrene or cardboard have just inspired me to do more mocking things up. And it worked real well for me when I did the um, the AML 90. So I wanted to do these kind of cardboard mock-ups to give me a sense of the scale and the size and the mass of the things before I went into the computer and started 3D printing out the pieces. And um, 
you know, doing this test run just showed me a lot of things that, you know, could help me inform the final design. I'm definitely thinking the cannon is a little bit too big. Like it's just gigantic. So maybe taking out some of the barrels. It looks like that was, is what Hasbro was doing. They might have taken out those extendable barrel parts so that the cannon was like a more manageable size. I really like that. You know, it's kind of like the caboose now, but that like back car with the armor. Just having places for the guys to stand, um, you know, up on top and like shoot stuff or like, you know, Alpine swinging down with a rope or something off the side onto a hiss tank would just be like wild or, you know, like turrets shooting down rattlers and things like that. So I think I want to maybe incorporate more of that into the other cars. And there's also the engine. I need to uh, rework that whole thing. So, you know, definitely cut holes in the top for the guys to get in and definitely put like at least some kind of turret on there maybe some handholds and stuff like that so guys can go on the roof. So definitely a work in progress, but something that I'm getting excited about and I think it's starting to get more momentum in my mind and so like I could see myself really getting into this. So I hope you like what you saw. I hope you think this is an interesting project. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope we'll see you in the next one. And yo Joe.